hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel and for today's look i'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine but technically i don't wear makeup all the time so this would be my everyday makeup if i were to wear makeup all the time and yeah that's just what the video is gonna be make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video leave a comment down below and follow my instagram and twitter at satin silk skin and without further ado let's just jump into this video it's kind of hot in here that's weird but i'm gonna start off with brows um to be honest i don't really like doing my brows that much and I feel like I can't like talk when I'm doing this so I'm gonna just lightly fill them in just not full on and then I'll be right back. Also to fill in my brows I just used Benefit Precisely My Brow. Really like this pencil um I very much so recommend it. For brow gel I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel um I got that in that little mini set and I'm pretty freaking excited to use it. Um, so I'm just going to comb this through my brows. Can't really see, but like, it's fine. I want them to look kind of feathery. I'm gonna brush them up and if you've ever noticed like that like a super dark spot on this eyebrow it's because like there's like a freckle underneath it and it makes the hair grow like super weird so that's why it looks like that primer for my eye I'm taking my L'Oreal full wear concealer I really like this concealer it's very full coverage and I've been using it a while now to prime my lids and i'm just taking my damp sponge and blending that all on my eye yeah i feel like this i don't even know if i'm gonna do lashes for this look because i i realistically would not wear lashes for <laughs> everyday makeup like that's just not something this eyebrow is disgusting i kind of hate it but i don't i wouldn't wear lashes every day so i don't know if i'm gonna wear lashes and that's gonna feel so weird oh my gosh my vision keeps going so blurry like why like i move and I, my vision goes so blurry i'm like love that so i'm gonna take the soft glam palette from anastasia and i'm gonna go in with burnt orange on this fluffy morphe brush and i'm just gonna dust this into my eyes i'm not gonna do any crazy eye look because i wouldn't wear that every day this is going to be like sort of what I wore every day, um, I guess sort of freshman year of high school. Because I was like around, and I wore makeup junior year, but senior year of high school, psh, I couldn't be bothered. And I definitely don't wear makeup to like class now. So... And I'm definitely not gonna wear my makeup, like do this look as heavy as I probably would have freshman year because my makeup uh, freshman year was not too hot. I gotta tell ya, I probably looked very cakey, but it's freaking fine. Like, don't judge it. This bun is so big on my head. Like, wow, Mackenzie. It is so hot in my room right now. But yeah, I'm just gonna blend this into my eye. Sort of like build it up a little bit more, but like, and sort of, I'm gonna place it on my lid a little bit too. I kind of wanna go into rustic, but like, I really don't want this to be 
like dark tap that a lot in the slightest bit yeah probably gonna only go into that like once just to make it a little bit more intense but like I don't want this to look very intense I just want it to be very natural so I'm gonna freaking tap a bunch of excess off of that just to make sure that this doesn't get too built up because that's not the look we're going for today also i don't know when my favorites video is going to be posted it'll probably be posted before this one and i'm definitely probably going to be wearing the same thing in it because i'm probably going to film it today after this so don't come for me because i'm not changing my outfit <laughs> like i'm sorry it's a cute like i like this freaking hoodie so it's like you know what what you gonna do this bun is like humongous i'm so sorry just want to take a little bit take soft and gentle from mac oh my gosh my hair i'm gonna have to fix this bun it's huge It's still huge. But we're taking um, a MAC Soft and Gentle. Honestly, this highlight used to be very popular and then it kind of fell off. But you know what? I still freaking like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Um, and for more natural looks, I like to just place it on the center of my lid. Because I think it brings like the most perfect perfect natural like glow to anything that you put it on so it's like wow it's beautiful i'm just gonna take it and put it on my brow bone as well and just peck that on the brow bone but honestly if you are looking for a highlight that will make you have a super like natural glow this is really the one like i I really like it. I don't know why it's fallen off so much. I feel like MAC just used to be like the brand. Like when I first started doing makeup, everybody lived for MAC and now it's just like, nobody really cares for MAC anymore, but some of their products I still think are pretty freaking nice. So I'm just gonna blend the edges of that even more just very sloppily guys i feel so out of it right now if i sound like weird or something it's because like i really feel like kind of dizzy right now but it's fine literally yesterday oh my god guys let me pause yesterday i my head hurt so bad yesterday like in this bright light and my face is not helping but yesterday at like seven o'clock at night literally i was just like laying in my bed with all the lights off just laying there like half asleep because my head it felt like somebody was like stabbing me in my head and i'm like oh. like it's painful and this bun kind of is hurting me too but like what are we really gonna do about it there's nothing we really can do so now for this is all actually I kind of want to take, I want to add like a slight smoky liner to this look. I'm so dizzy because I feel like it would look like super cute. Just a slight one. Just take rustic, tap off a lot of it, and just very lightly at, run it along my lash line and i know that i have a bunch of eyelash glue in my eye honestly i mean in, in my lashes i always do like i can't get it out and i did just get eye makeup remover so hopefully that'll help a little bit because it's kind of bad like wow like looking at it on camera okay now we're gonna be moving on to skin i just 
slightly did a smoky oop liner on my lash line and i'm gonna be taking a different primer um the becca first light priming filter i got that this in like um a little sampler thing oh she is purple this is what she looks like whoa this is like very runny feeling i was not expecting that at all to say the least um it feels very different oh it's starting to feel a little bit more tacky once you blend it in okay i was very not expecting that at all um i was not expecting that to be purple either that was actually a really pretty color kind of live huh interesting okay i guess i'm just gonna have to see how i feel i'm gonna be taking my nars longwear radiant in my l'oreal infallible freshwear i'm gonna mix them together um because i like these both a lot and that's just what I want to do today. For a while, I was just using the NARS, and honestly, it's good because I wore it when I um. Hold on. When I cheered, and it stayed looking nice literally after competing and everything else. So I think it's a really good foundation. Um, definitely have not cheered in the l'oreal one so i couldn't tell you but i feel like i don't know i really do like the l'oreal one and it is obviously cheaper than nars so i just dotted that all over my face ah i dropped my beauty blender and now i'm just gonna blend this all into my skin just with this morphe sponge that is super dirty don't come for me I know you guys are all probably like, wow, all of her brushes and everything is like disgusting. I'm like, I need a new sponge, but I feel like sponges are the one thing that I'm just like, ugh, I don't want to buy. It's just like annoying to have to like buy a sponge. Like, does anyone else feel that? Like, because I feel it a lot. I don't know. I still feel like this foundation like doesn't match me. <laughs> but last time I said that I looked back at the, the footage and it matched pretty well. So who knows? Like, I don't, I really don't know. Cause I don't like my face is red. It looks red on camera, but it's not red in real life. I really don't know. It's fine, I don't care. I really don't. I forgot to bring my bronzer over here. Honestly, I'm so out of it. Oh my gosh. Now for concealer, I would normally take the L'Oreal Full Wear, but today I'm gonna be taking Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and there's hair on this. Um, Because I don't want something so full coverage and like stark white underneath my eye right now this actually is like the same shade as my foundation nearly so i can actually like conceal with it as with my um l'oreal one i can't really because it is so white definitely not the shade of my skin like in the slightest bit yeah i really can't even tell where i placed my concealer because it's like that it like blends in um but yeah i like this concealer a lot like when i do when i do super if my skin wasn't broken out i probably would have just taken the glossier skin tint and use that because I, oh my gosh, my skin looks so glowy and nice. Mm. Huh, Becca Primer. But um, I probably would have just used that, the Glossier Skin Tint, but 
I'm very broken out right now. So that's what we're not gonna do. But I like the Glossier Skin Tint. Um, I know some people don't. It doesn't give any coverage really. I mean, it, it evens out like your skin tone, but that's about all it does. So I know some people don't like it, but I like it and it makes my skin super glowy. So I like it. Now I'm gonna be taking Maybelline Fit Me Powder to just set my face. Um, even though I used to like never set my face, but I feel like it really gives more of like an airbrushed effect to your skin and I like it, so. I don't know why my skin is like, oh man, so broken out lately. Kind of upset about it, but I can't believe that much powder just got on my freaking face. The, that's literally just horrible. I always do that. But now I'm just gonna bronze. For bronzer, I'm gonna take this bronzer from Too Faced Under the Christmas Tree. I'm not really gonna contour today. I'm just gonna warm up my face a little bit. Um, just because I don't really like to contour on an everyday basis. So that's why I'm just gonna bronze a little bit. Um, I don't, I mean, this bronzer is okay. I've tried better. Um, but I just didn't want to use my cargo one today because that's like, I just feel like that wouldn't look right with this. I don't know. Because I used it on Christmas and it looked kind of like slightly orangey in pictures and I was kind of upset. But it's fine. So I like put this on my nose a lot. Especially when it'd be like the summertime I'd be slightly like more tan. It looks cute. Also, I really like to put it on my jawline. You guys, I'm so out of it. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's wrong with me. Literally, like, I feel like oh, I'm so dizzy right now. This is crazy. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Um, doesn't matter anyway, because, like, my doctor's, like, closed by now. <laughs> And I don't want to go to the doctor right now. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Honestly, me, like, the past week and a half. Like, my mom's like, make a doctor's appointment. I'm like, no. It's like, I don't want to go. So now I'm going to take the blush. And just uh, put that on my cheeks a little bit. Does anybody have, like, a super good... You know what? I've always wanted to try Milani Luminoso, but I've never tried it. I should really try that blush like everybody used to rave about it and i'm kind of getting more into blush slightly so you know <sighs> what do i do now oh yes highlight but we're just gonna take soft and gentle because i can't open it <laughs> because i feel like it looks like super good with um more natural looks i used to wear this all the time like this has hit pan and you can build it up to make it more intense if you want to do that because i used to wear this whoops it's, i really like it um i love soft and gentle it looks pretty i'm sorry i really like it haven't used it in like a minute so like I'm kind of really liking the way it looks. I want a little bit more on my nose. Yeah, I think that's I think that's good. <laughs> so basically I just realized that my camera wasn't recording this whole time. Of me smoking out my lower lash line and putting um mascara on why couldn't i think of that so basically all i did was i put a little bit of um brown liner in my waterline and then i just smoked out my lower lash line with um burnt orange from soft glam and i put a little soft and gentle in my inner corner and then i took the essence 
volume stylus and coated my lashes and I was about to do a second coat anyway and then like I pressed stop recording and I realized it just started the recording and I was like wow like why am I like a literal flop right now I'm so sorry guys but like at least it wasn't like it was I mean it kind of was an important part because like everything was like so simple oh my gosh ew what is that ew why is it like so chunky like that ew but basically I was saying that I got this mascara because Tati said it was good and basically if Tati says it's good then I'm like I gotta get it because literally she's like perfect literally perfect and I also said my mom doesn't really like this because we both got it at the same time and I said um I heard it was good and she won and she tried it with me and but she didn't really like it so but I said because like our lashes are like completely different so she has like shorter lashes naturally and I have sort of longer lashes but they aren't really like curled um which is why I should have got an eyelash curler before this video but it's fine so I like it um I don't know and now I'm gonna take the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara it's a little mini gal and I'm just gonna like build it up slightly more just because um I feel like the lashes are like gonna like the eyes are kind of like I don't know I really don't know I think I don't really know I just kind of like so like built up eyelashes if that makes sense not like super spidery or anything but I don't know that's just what I like personally. I'm so mad at myself that I wasn't recording that. Freaking smoking out my lower lash line. And I also use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I was supposed to film that, but it was recording. So now I'm just gonna see the lip color that I am feeling today. I'm gonna line my lips with the NYX. Ugh lip liner and nutmeg i'm gonna kind of get my lip balm off i want to try this look at first of all look at this little baby it is super small this is from Buxom. I don't, it doesn't say the name. Actually, it does. It's in Celeste. It was just super small. I got this in the little mini Ulta thing and I want to see what it looks like. Hmm. She kind of cute. I also, hold on. Let me put this on. Wait, that's kind of cute. I can't really tell. I really do like Buxom's um, glosses. I just wasn't too sure about like what the color was gonna look like on my lip price. Hmm, I kind of like it. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more glossy, but she's cute, so we're gonna leave it. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm so sorry for slow-key messing up this video by, like, messing up the ending. But it was just me smoking out my lower lash line, so, like, it's fine. And I normally, like, don't even film that half the time, so. But I'm sorry, you guys. Um, I really like this gloss. It's super glittery, like, you can't tell on camera, but it is so glittery. So I'm, like, I kind of like it a lot. I'm, like, out of breath. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this video um let me know any video suggestions you guys have for me down in the comments below or just leave a comment any comment um 
make sure you follow my instagram at satin silk skin and my twitter at satin silk skin and make sure you subscribe please subscribe to my channel like please subscribe to my channel i've been like way more consistent lately so like and turn on my little bell ring the bell to get post notifications so you don't miss any video of mine and i'll see you guys in my next one i hope you have a wonderful day or night whatever it is for you and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye guys